Hi guys, this is the video top 10 facts about the GTA series. So let's begin. Number 10. GTA exists because of a glitch in a different game. GTA would not have been the behemoth that it is today if it was not for the happy accident while developing a prior game called Race and Chase. This game had a similar style to what eventually became GTA, with the idea being that you play as cops or robbers, either performing the robberies or stopping the criminals. When playing as a robber, the glitch that changed everything caused the AI police cars to try and run you off the road rather than actually bust you. This was popular enough with the testers that the model of the game was reworked to better suit this dynamic and so GTA was born. Number 9. GTA Meme The notoriously difficult San Andreas mission Wrong Side of the Tracks has spawned an internet meme, specifically Big Smoke's cry of All we had to do is follow the damn train, CJ whenever you inevitably screw it up. Number 8. Lawsuits against the franchise total over $1 billion. Rockstar's history in court has been well documented. Perhaps best of all, their legal feud with disgraced Florida attorney Jack Thompson, who once referred to GTA as a cop-killing simulator. You might think these suits frivolous, yet Thompson clearly meant business, filing a $246 million suit against Rockstar a decade ago, after two teens murdered two other motorists. That's just one example though. The man has filed countless suits, yet they never seem to come to anything. Number 7. GTA 4 has 80,000 lines of dialogue. The GTA games are frequently praised for their strong standard of voice acting throughout, easily some of the best the gaming has ever seen. Whether a named actor like Ray Liotta or Samuel L. Jackson has been enlisted, or a relative no-namer. It's all the more impressive that this level of quality is maintained given how much dialogue there is to shift through, with GTA 4 reportedly containing a staggering 80,000 lines of dialogue. To give this figure some context, Mass Effect 3 has around 40,000 lines, and Fallout New Vegas has 65,000, which at the time was a world record for role-playing games. Yet GTA 4, with its barrage of citizens passing you by while speaking on their mobile phones, needs to have much more going on to convey the bustling landscape. Roman? Are you sleeping, you fat no, fuck? No Come on! What's the time? Number six. NWA and GTA? The appearance and mannerisms of Grove Street gang member Ryder in San Andreas is based on the late NWA rapper Eazy E. His San Andreas hat is an homage to the similar Compton hat made famous by the controversial hip hop group. Number five. World record completion time for GTA 3 is one hour, twelve minutes. There are just too many random factors that can screw up a near perfect run of the game. Yet a YouTube user by the name of M. Sarive posted a speedrun of GTA 3 at the start of the year, having blasted through the game in a staggering 1 hour, 12 minutes and 10 seconds. Number 4. Role Reversal The original plan for Grand Theft Auto, before it even had a name, was to have you playing as a cop chasing down criminals. The roles were reversed when it was decided that playing as the bad guy would be more fun. Number 3. 9-11 had a significant effect on GTA. Rockstar is based in New York City, and the 9-11 terrorist attacks delayed the release of Grand Theft Auto 3. Some content was cut in the wake of the tragedy, and police cars were altered to look less like those of the NYPD. Number 2. GTA 5's map size is twice that of real life Manhattan. The map in GTA 5 is greater than that of Red Dead Redemption, GTA 4 and GTA San Andreas combined. A quick spot of research reveals their map sizes at 28, 6.8 and 13.9 square miles respectively, which combined means they total almost 49 square miles. To put that in comparison, New York's Manhattan Island is only 23 square miles in size. Number 1. GTA 5 costs more to make than Watchmen and Prometheus. We now live in a world where video games are the highest grossing entertainment product with the likes of Halo, Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto raking in hundreds of millions of dollars within mere days of launching. Games can now deliver grosses in excess of movies, perhaps it's not a surprise that they end up costing just as much, with GTA 5 reportedly costing in the region of $137 million. To put this figure into perspective, that is slightly more than blockbuster films like Watchmen and Prometheus cost to make, both roughly budgeted at $130 million. So there we go, the, the top 10 facts I've found about the GTA franchise. Um, if you liked my video, be sure to subscribe uh, and that'll keep you updated with my future videos, which I do intend to make. I haven't thought of a schedule or anything yet, obviously I've just started this channel, but as soon as I have one in place, I'll let everyone know. So thanks, be sure to subscribe and yeah.